Hi guys, we are back today. A uh, bit of a wintry day down here in Devon today. Um, just wanted to start this little blog off. Going to get outside today a minute. Um, I'm just going to wanted to check my engine oil level um, on this Fiat Ducato. Just opening the near side passenger's door and the bonnet catch is located there. So what you do is you pull that down and latch the bonnet. Just looking for someone to stick the camera but i'm not going to bother it i think i'm just going to hold it like that so basically this is the engine oil filler um and the dipstick is the red little dipstick there which is just uh beside the filler basically so it's really obvious to check um to see where your oil is so i'm gonna now i'm gonna just turn that around there so you guys have a right so there's the dipstick the red handle so I'm just going to pull that up and we're going to dip the oil I've got a cloth so it's going to wipe off the dipstick there are um, like little ridges for the low mark down there and the high mark up there so basically we're just going to dip it down and see what we've got Oil. Okay, so it looks like it is hovering around that mark there. So I'm just going to put a dribble in. It doesn't need a lot. So we'll put the dipstick back in. Put the dipstick back in. Like that. And now we'll go and get the oil. So this is the engine oil, um, it's premium synthetic oil and the grade, I don't know if you can see that, which is 0W30. So synthetic engine oil for the 2.3 Fiat Ducato and I'm going to rip off the, it just needs a little, a little bit, so that's a little bit uh, tight there, just take that cap off. That one, there's the filler. Okay, so we'll just set that up again. And now we are going to try our pouring skills. I'm going to chuck in. Pull the dipstick. Wipe it off there. Chuck it back in. And pull it back in. And that is just below the mark. Just below the high mark there. Which is perfect for what we want. Just a dribble. Just to top it up a smidgen. Keep it on the ball. Right, there's our filler cap, which I'm just going to put back on and nip that up like that. So that's the oil checked, which is superb. Just looking at the coolant level, which the minimum mark is down there. The maximum mark is up there on the coolant container, which halfway. That's perfect. Don't need to worry about that at all. But there's the coolant minimum, maximum. So halfway up through, it's perfect. The um, the other funny one on the um, on this uh, 
fear is the screen wash has got this kind of little catch. This is on the driver's side now. It's got this little catch here with like a telescopic. I sometimes find it a bit cheesy. It's just like a little tiny spout that comes out there. So that's where the um, screen wash filler is. And just down below, you can see the you can see the tank located right down in there, in amongst the wing. So um, that's happy enough today. Just checking our oil and water, just basics really. But um, just to give people an idea of where it is, filler, dipstick, and obviously the um, the uh, bonnet catch inside the passenger's door there at the front. Okay, after that little bit of uh, maintenance today, just a little, uh, well, again, I'm just um, taking you through some of the basics on motor home, and, and a lot of people may be, like, like I said before in, in some of my videos, that um, new, new, newbie people, just simple stuff. Um, I was really happy this week, actually, because I had a, um, um, I'm just going to turn my camera. Hello. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy this week, so I had a guy, um, asked us uh, for some information which was really good uh made, made us uh, feel like we're doing some good so that's uh, thank you for that uh, little question we had in the week and um appreciated that and so anyway back to today i've got my brit stops book out and um i thought what i'd do because we have a brit stops very close to us so uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to show you this um, book again i did um sort of show somebody uh, show, show a few of the other day um uh, on a previous video uh, this book not really getting into too much detail this i literally bought this one last year and uh, we've we've used it minimally which because obviously of the um pandemic and stuff but uh, it's still well still just valid look 28th of the second 21 so we have so what you do with this one is this bridge that book is just the introduction blah 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 and then we get on to the map so we are in the southwest of england so all the little places are listed um under these codes southwest 47 48 all around the area where we're to and the one i'm going to look at today is southwest 48 so what you do then you flick on through the book so there we go, we'll flip on through the book. And this is obviously the southwest section. So we're going to find number 48, which is the Star Inn. So it's a pub stop, open all year round. A beautiful traditional country pub with log burner and open fires. We have excellent food and ales, a large car park with outdoor toilet facilities and a beer garden with heat lamps. Um, so it's just off the A38 at uh, Drumbridge's Roundabout on the A38, just near the turn off to Newton Abbott. And we are going to go and take a look at the Star Inn and show you guys this pub stop. And this pub stop is a great pub stop. It was really busy last year with uh, motor homes. And I thought I'd uh, try and sort of like um show you guys because it's a really good stopover for um going to cornwall if you're coming down through plymouth way or if you're visiting around this area absolutely superb little pub stop so we've got trago mills not that far away and we've got other little attractions around here there's a, like a golf um, course and stuff around this area and uh, just on the edge of the national park right so i'm going to hold it there and we'll go and take a look at the star inn Yeah, so this is the approach road to the Star Inn. Um, so you'll be coming probably up this road um, towards the pub from the old A38. Drummond is just down the road. Um, so this is the pub. Um, we've got the Star Inn sign. And at the moment, they're just doing takeaway meals. And um, there's uh, Louise and Stephen and the team that give us a bit of a welcome. So the car park is a superb size. And I don't know whether you can just see that uh, the VW van down there, they normally put the motor homes down on the back fence, so down around this area, which is um, right out at the back of the car park. So this, this car park is like massive here. So uh, the, the motor homes just park up down the back, down along there, and just where that van is. So superb location for the parking. 
just going to stroll down where the parking is so here we are and now we're at the back corner back corner of the car park so there's all the um, slots up to here that they do the motor home park in it's fairly level and uh, as you can see really wide car park and in the distance is the um, the pub so just walk across here in the bottom corner the other side is all the waste bins so they've got some trash cans over there which is uh, pretty handy and we'll head over now to the beer garden just heading over to the beer garden now and this is a beautiful beer garden they've got proper little tables sorted out and uh, there's a kids play area just over in the corner and um, plenty of outdoor seating so in the summer it's amazing it's such a nice place in the summer and there are there's into the the, the bar and the pub and uh, they've got some of their meal things on the on the wall here i'll just go to show you that so basically you come in here and have a pie and a pint burger and a drink 11 50 12 99 so and he lets you stay over in the car park free of charge which is really incredible just round the corner of this direction i think are the toilets so there is actually some toilets available just down through back into the car park so happy days traditional devon pub Looks like they've got a bit of building work going on at the moment. All the old uh, lockdowns on. It's, uh, I drive past here and I'm sort of like so sad for the guy. You know, he's sort of put all of the measures. They had a um, they had like a one-way system operating where you walk in the bar and then um, you you came out of the lounge area. So um, and he's got all plastic screens up and everything. And uh, you know, obviously through this lockdown he's had to shut again. So it'd be great to um, give him some support in the future especially um with his parking for motor rooms they got another little area out the back here for outside dining so you can literally dine out here and see your motor home over in the corner which is um absolutely superb <laughs> 